the Byzantine Empire. By the year 400, the Roman Empire had split into two parts. The empire in the west was attacked by warlike tribes and collapsed in 476. But the empire in the east survived for another thousand years. The Eastern Empire was known as the Byzantine Empire because of its capital city, Constantinople, was originally called Byzantium. Justinian's Empire In the 6th century, the Byzantine Emperor Justinian won back many of the lands that had once been part of the Roman Empire. Under him, the Byzantine Empire was larger than it would ever be again. Running the Empire Justinian's dream was to create a great Christian Empire with the help of his wife Theodora. He set up a new system of laws and gave orders for many churches to be built. Priests, artists, and merchants all visited his palace. Defending the Empire The Byzantines fought constant battles against Muslim Arabs and Turks. They were threatened by tribes from North and even had to fight against crusaders from Western Europe who were supposed to be on their side. The Byzantine Art The Byzantine artists were famous for their delicate embroidery and ivory carvings. They also created huge glittering mosaics and painted dramatic religious portraits called icons. Religious Plate Christians in the Byzantine Empire developed their own style of church building and held services in Greek instead of Latin. The Byzantine Church was led by Patriarch in Constantinople. After many quarrels between the Patriarch and Pope, the Byzantine Church split away from the Church in the West. The End of Empire After Justinian's death, the empire became smaller and smaller, and by 1400, only the land around Constantinople was left. In 1453, the Ottoman Turks attacked the city. After six weeks of fighting, the Byzantines surrendered, and the empire collapsed. Thank you.